Afternoon, more clouds will be appearing and might even have some drizzle. Yeah. There'll be a fresh, cool breeze coming from the west, and it'll be a sunny max temperature of 25 today. Still pretty tough. Well, so far, we've found lots of granite deposits, and we think we've also found some sort of pyrite, some goldy rock, and some iron ore, because they're rusty colours in the rock. And what type of rock is most common here on uh, Macfeet Hill? Sandstone. Yeah. We think it's mostly granite. All this seems to be granite. There's that rock. Right, and um, why is there more rock on Macfeet and say, opposite on the hill? Yeah. There's Sandstone. more rock on this side of the hill, which is facing the campsite, because the southerly wind comes down here yeah. and sort of washes the so top side away when it's raining. Yeah. And the southerly wind's more common than the northerly wind. I see. Here, over there, it goes. And the rock's nice exposed. Change. Yeah. Have you found out anything particularly exciting yet? Um, we think that this rock here has been rusted by water bringing iron ore down from other parts of the sea, of the island. And on this one, it's only a couple of millimetres deep. And the top of it's rust. Whereas just below the surface, it isn't. It's just plain granite. Uh, anything else? Um, fool's gold, we found just below here, in kind of black coaly stuff. This is the history group, just down here. I between H. I is that funny one. I is the one we're not sure about. Uh, Margaret, do you think you could tell me exactly what you're doing uh, or what you're trying to find out in this historical project? Well, we're just doing a street plan to work out how many houses there were and where they were and what it would be like when it's actually built up. Well, I've got this grid and I'm going to put a stone in the middle of each of the squares and put what I find in them. And you're going to separate it out when we take it back? Yeah. And put them in separate bags? Yeah. Good. 
What about you, Neil? Have you found anything down in the, the doorway yet? Um, not anything I could pull out. I've just found some old nails and things I would have put the door onto. You've been digging in the uh, window? Yes, I've found absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, we've been digging and this is what we found. Mainly just pottery, I think there's some there. Do you think it's old? Yes, I think. Yeah. yeah. Is it genuine relics from yeah. the people that lived here? Yeah, yeah. I think it's all of it could, could have come from that time. It's well rested. Yeah. We, we yeah. were quite surprised because there wasn't very much earthenware. It was all, it's all, there's a lot of glazed yeah. stuff. Yeah, all enamels. It all seems to be in quite good sort of quality and it's against it's things all that you'd, you'd expect to find on an island. All the glasses. And what is your project? Well, we're just um, looking at the village and how, how life has looked then. So. What do you think life was like then? Pretty rough and hard. Mm. Yeah. 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 Very hard. But it doesn't seem as hard as we thought it was going to be because of the, all the things that we found. It's, it doesn't seem as bad as we, th we thought it would be because we thought they'd be cut off on the mainland much more than they were. Yeah. But you think they did have visits from the mainland? Yeah. Yeah. Fishermen had connections with the mainland. And taking cattle and sheep out and selling crops and things like that. Mm -hmm. And what will you be doing with all this information when you go back home? Will you be sort of writing it up into a project? Yeah, or? yeah. To mm -hmm. all our finds. Mm -hmm. Now, how have you been enjoying the, uh, the holiday? Mm -hmm. It was really good. Yeah. Has it been a holiday? Yeah. Has it been hard graft? Well, this, some of the days have been like a holiday when we've been on the beach because it's gorgeous. Really yeah. Yeah. But we've been doing lots of walking. But the walk in itself see, um, shows you the scenery. Which is just so amazing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's brilliant. Brilliant. And what's been the best thing for you? I don't know. It's probably the beach. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it. It's lovely. I enjoyed the solemn moor where there was, we saw four seals really close and some shag babies and birds. And what's been the hardest thing? Getting everything here. Yeah, getting everything here. We each did about seven journeys to get everything over here. So mm. You were exhausted, were you? Yeah. We had to put our tents up. <laughs> So you slept well the first night? Yeah. Oh, we slept well, but all the time it's been Yeah, it's been really comfortable, actually. Yeah. Crisps, or hula hoop cheeses, and biscuits, and fruit, and an egg, and a special treat, Mingale munches. It's freshly cooked. Oh dear me! Oh dear me! Oh dear me! Well, you're actually here now. It's a bit different than putting your tent up on the uh, school playing fields. What's it been like? Uh, it's been quite good fun. Um, the most difficult we had was putting the tent up and finding which way to direct it for the wind and the slope. But no major problems so far. Uh huh. And have you been enjoying it? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, I've really enjoyed the jacuzzi bit. We, got, <laughs> we made our own little jacuzzi dammed up in the stream and a little shower. And that's been absolutely fantastic for washing it. The best thing for me, I think, is the beach because it's so clean and white. And of course the sea is very clear as well. And to me that's been the best thing. What have you found most difficult? Most difficult thing um, is just adjusting to the lifestyle here, I think. You know, having to get changed in your tent, having to wash with cold water, <laughs> and all things like the cooking and everything. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you? Well, I, I really enjoyed uh, looking over the cliff at Bula Craig just over there, it was just so amazing, just a sheer drop straight down. I really like that. But I also find hard the uh, the washing, you know, in the morning, getting up and just diving straight into this cold stream. Not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> what about projects? What have you been doing? I've been making uh, musical instruments out of all stuff that's washed up on the beach and stuff, tin cans and bottles. Uh -huh. Making a set of drums at the moment out of old tin cans and stuff. What about things that, um, that you know, you missed most? What about you? Have you, you missed anything most? 
Yeah, um, I think I'm saying that I missed the mirror in the bathroom because I've only got a tidy hand mirror. <laughs> but no, I don't think I've missed anything desperately. Definitely not the television because there's been plenty of stuff to do around here. Mm -hmm. And what about you as a person? Has you have you grown and developed, or what? Do you think it's helped in any way? Yeah. I th I think everybody here over the week has grown together as a community and we've had to get along with each other. That's, I think I've matured in that sense. The only disappointing thing about it is we didn't have to go out and kill our own food and, you know, like pick <laughs> wild grass to eat. And I would have quite enjoyed doing things like that. And here we are just walking up to Neil Craig here. It's quite late in the evening, about 8 o'clock. So I think I hope for you to see the sunset. <laughs> okay, here I'm standing almost at the top of Bruja Cay, looking back to the camp just to give you an idea where we are. Sitting down and to where the cliff will be. Hopefully get a shot of it over it soon. I think it was best to start the top and work down. I did. Just me out somewhere. Just there. Yeah.